Hey guys, it's Thomas here and I wanted to upload a quick video just to tell you about something very cool that happened to me yesterday and to one of my fish. It's a quick story, so I'm gonna jump right into it. Basically, I get back from lunch. I've been gone for maybe an hour or so and I have a 45 gallon rimless cube aquarium in the office. I get back from lunch and I'm walking to my desk and I look on the floor and there is one of my new mascara barbs lying on the floor, not moving. I don't know how long it's been there. I bend over, I pick it up. It's barely damp on the outside, pretty stiff, but still has some, you know, wiggle to it. Not moving at all. No breathing, no nothing. Nothing to indicate it's still alive. But I decided, you know what, I like this fish a lot. I've had it for a couple of weeks. It's really starting to look nice, get fat. I wasn't really ready to give up at that point. So I stuck it in the aquarium right away, just holding it in my hand, just like this. And I'm holding it face first in the flow of the filter. So the water's rushing out of the filter across the tank. I'm holding this barb directly in the flow. Its mouth is dropping open from the flow and holding open for a second and closing. Does that over and over. After about five to 10 minutes of me being stubborn and not wanting this fish to die, this thing starts breathing again. So I'm like, okay, okay, maybe there's some hope. You know, I'm getting a little bit of mouth movement, cool. After about another five or 10 minutes, it's starting to twitch. And I can see that, you know, maybe it's got some life left in it. I don't know how long it takes for a fish out of water without oxygen to essentially get brain damage if that even happens to fish. I, I don't understand their physiology well enough to be able to tell what the, you know, point of no return is for them. But I'll tell you, this, this barb wasn't ready to go. And I wasn't ready to give up on it. So I, I let it keep going and, you know, it didn't take too much longer before it started to try to start, you know, swimming out of my hand, giving little kicks of movement. It would kind of move back and forth in the flow within my hand. And I gave it, you know, a little bit more time and it started swimming out of my hand. And I kept my hand in there just to, you know, make sure that it didn't blow away. There's a lot of flow in that tank. Um, that's why I put those barbs in there. They, they like the flow quite a bit, but I didn't want to bump it around the glass and stuff. So I, I, kept my hand there for as long as necessary. And once it could actually just start swimming around, I let it go. And I'll tell you, it was a little shaken up. It wasn't too happy. It uh, hung out in the shadows for a little bit, but as of right now, I still have all three of my mascara barbs. I thought that was pretty cool. I, I effectively resuscitated a fish. I didn't think that was possible for a fish that was non-responsive on the floor. But I guess the point of this story is don't give up on your fish because even if they've gone carpet surfing, there's a chance they'll come back. Unless they're like actually crusty and dried up and stuck to the carpet and, and they've been there for weeks. That's, that's, that's not going to work. Keep on tanking.